Hello and welcome everyone to this next episode on SAP Analytics Cloud Training. In this episode, we will learn about how to do the debugging of your API scripting code in SAP Analytics Cloud Designer. Many of you have asked this question in the past, is it possible to debug the scripting code which we've written inside the event handler of different controls on SAP Analytics Cloud? Yes, it is possible. Today we will be hacking into the process of debugging the SAC code. Let us go ahead and see how can we achieve the same. Before we start, let me tell you the benefits of debugging. Debugging will not just help you to find out the issues where they are occurring. At the same time, it allows you to do minor code changes in terms of checking if a certain piece of code will work or not. Also evaluate the different variables during the process of execution of our code. This is also very helpful to trace the potential problems in the code and also to find out the right APIs while we are debugging the code itself. So let me take you to one of the demo application which I've already created in the system. So don't be overwhelmed by what I've done here, but just take a look at this particular drop down. So I have two drop down. And based on my first drop down, I'm populating the value in my second drop down. So maybe there is something going wrong in this whole process, and I would like to debug this end to end. So I'll go to the drop down two, which is the city drop down, and go to its function. And you can see I've written a couple of lines of code over here in this. So over here, I would like to set a debugger. It's a mini version of JavaScript what SAC supports. So we put a debugger like we do it in JavaScript. And I'll switch over back to the application, reload, and maybe press F12, and you would assume that if you're using uh, JavaScript, then you should be able to get in into the debugging mode, right? But that won't happen in this way. So now watch out. What I will do is I'll just try to click on my first drop down, and I select, but hey, it does not hit my breakpoint. Yes, exactly. So SAP Analytics Cloud by default doesn't run your code in the debug mode. It doesn't download the source in a way that you can debug them on the on like on like on a browser. So what we have to do now is go on the top and just go towards the end of the URL and put semicolon debug equals to true and just press enter to reload the application one more time. Now you can see my application is loading. Yeah, and what I can do now is go to my sources tab and right here, you will find something called sandbox worker main. Inside the sandbox worker main, if you open, then you'll get analytic application section. And this is here, here we have our analytical app code. And you can see this is all our code, what we have. And maybe I will just go back and now trigger my drop down, which will post possibly trigger my code which I have and that code has a debugger now. So let me click and voila, you can see now I'm in the debugging. So I can analyze my artifacts, my objects which I have in the system. So I can check my variable values. You can see here, I can I can uh, basically see all the, the constant values. I can do step-by-step -step debugging and the shortcuts are very much same like what you do during JavaScript. F10 is to just continue with the next step. If F11 is to go inside, uh, shift F11 to come out. So this way you can debug complete piece of code uh, directly into your browser. And of course, then you can of course see the variable values and do whatever you would like to do. At the same time, watch out, we can also analyze the value of our variables. For example, I would like to know what will be the value inside my hierarchies. So I can take this, go back to the console and I can put that over here and I can I do a watch on my values which I have. I can probably perform some operation. For example, I just write a, a, a loop. Let's say k is equals to zero. Uh, k is less than my hierarchy is dot length k plus plus. And curly braces. So basically I can test all the JavaScript over here on my variables. So I can say console.log hierarchies of kth item display me on the screen. And now I can also say just display me the description. So I can come back and say description. 
and now it will only show descriptions so this way you can actually evaluate things you can work with the different different objects you can play around with the stuff and you can also debug your code so this is the way you can debug end-to-end -end your JavaScript code which you've written in SAP Analytics Cloud Designer and this is a very helpful utility remember the parameter name is colon debug equals to true I'll put this in the description of the video you can also take it up from there as well so with that, I hope you enjoyed this video on debugging SAP Analytics Cloud Designer. For complete end-to-end -end corporate training on SAP Analytics Cloud as well as Analytics Designer training, feel free to subscribe us on unaboutrainings.com. You can also ask your company to arrange a corporate training for you and we can be, will be able to help you out with the same. With that, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.